What's going on guys? We're at the Paw Spa. I have a big gorgeous dog today. He's, his name is Echo. He's an Alaskan Malamute and his parents tend to get the giant breed, like the biggest one you can get of them. Echo and I are gonna spend some time together today. He is a big project. Let's go see Mr. Echo. This is an Echo. You ready for your bath, bud? You ready? We get you all clean? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's throw this kid out. With how often Echo's in here, we don't run into him blowing too much coat unless it is shedding season. This is what's all over my face. The shampoo I'm using on Echo is our Plum Silky Shampoo. It's a conditioned shampoo to help loosen up all that undercoat and get all that loose fluff out of there so he's easier to brush out. We don't have too much matting or anything like that. With him, we don't run into that often as he is in quite a bit throughout the year. I'm rat. Get all set up for Mr. Echo. Can you turn this way? Gotta hook you up, kid. Gotta go. What are you doing? Is that a good bag? He's cold, huh? He's so cold. <laughs> All right, kid. Let's do this. I've really learned to enjoy spending the time with the bigger kiddos and getting to blow them out. Although it does take quite a bit longer, uh, tends to be about an hour to an hour and a half, I've learned to use it to meditate and bond with the animals as you can see Echo and I doing. Uh, he's teaching me Malamute. I'm doing my best to learn <laughs> what he's trying to teach me, but some of these noises just I'm not sure are humanly possible. Uh, as you can see, he's he wants to teach you guys. Are you teaching everybody Malamute? Mr. Echo? What are you saying? You didn't want a bath today? Alright kid, let's finish drying you. Although Echo isn't blowing a whole lot of coat today, I still find the drying process so satisfying. As you can see, it's just awesome to watch him go from this sopping wet dog to, oh my gosh, look how cute his face is. Like I said, it's a long process. Even if they're not blowing a whole lot of coat, they still have a whole lot of hair. So I'm just finishing up drying Echo. And after this process is done, I put them in their kennel with a kennel dryer, and then I'll bring them out to the table. I tend to let them sit for a second and take a rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just look at your sister. The brush I'm using on Echo is uh, called a slicker brush. I tend to start most of my grooms using the slicker brush, um, trying to brush out that coat as much as possible. With this kid, we'll have to use multiple brushes as he has a very thick coat um, of mul made of multiple layers. And so we will have to use multiple tools to get through all of that. When using brushes such as the slicker brush or a Furminator, brushes with sharper ends, you wanna be very careful of brush burn. Brushing in the same spot for too long can cause almost a road rash kind of feeling. Here in this clip, I'm using a Furminator brush. This is a brush we use to get most of the undercoat out of most dogs. We also tend to use quite a few dematting rakes because it pulls a lot of that coat, especially in the butt area where it gets compacted pretty badly just from them sitting on it, playing, things like that. 
there's a lot of things that most people don't realize go into taking care of a dog's coat. After getting him brushed out, I go through with a poodle comb as he does have that double coat. Um, just being sure that I can smoothly get it through all of his hair. So handsome, Echo. The butt. Comfy. Sister cannot be without brother. You're squishing him. Oh, so cool. All right, guys. So, as you can see, there are two of them. They are large and they are so adorable. Today, they taught me to speak Malamute, I would say. I might not be fluent, but I think I'm starting to understand it. Echo was good boy as always didn't blow a whole lot of coat but they're in here pretty regularly yeah we saw him last in october when he was a rock star so we see them quite often so if you have an alaska malamute haven't had them bathe bring them to me and you won't even understand how much coat he'll blow he'll she he she you know what i'm saying but Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions about bigger pups, things like that, drop it in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the bright side.